Ever wondered what happened to the ozone hole? A few decades ago, it was the prime example of man-made environmental damage. Today, you hear less often about it. Did it just go away? Let's recap. The ozone layer lies in the stratosphere, where it acts as a shield to protect us against harmful UV radiation, which, in excessive doses, can increase your risk for a number of diseases, including skin cancer. For decades, the ozone layer was attacked by invisible enemies, chlorine, bromine and other halogens, at the time commonly used in aerosol propellants, refrigerants, pesticides and solvents. Under ultraviolet radiation in the atmosphere, these substances break down and react with ozone, destroying the Earth's protective ozone layer. But, to answer the original question, what happened to the ozone hole? The 1987 Montreal Protocol happened. This international treaty agreed to phase out the substances which play a role in ozone depletion and was ratified by 196 states plus the European Union. End result? The trend over the last 5 to 10 years has been no increase in the Antarctic ozone hole. However, each year in September the Antarctic sees a resurgence of the ozone hole. This happens because during winter the entire polar region is in darkness and a powerful wind pattern called vortex develops. This vortex isolates the polar region from the rest of the atmosphere and causes temperatures to fall below minus 78 degrees Celsius, at which point polar stratospheric clouds form. Displaying majestic colors, polar stratospheric clouds also have a downside. Their ice crystals boost chemical reactions between ozone, chlorine and bromine. The European Union's Copernicus program monitors stratospheric ozone using satellite observations and modelling, similar to weather forecasting, to give us a clear idea of how the ozone layer is healing over time. Currently estimates suggest it will be 2060 before ozone production returns to pre-1970 levels. Good science, early discovery and monitoring means it is possible to take action and repair man-made impact on our world.